Hello everyone, Derek's Damn Toys, and we are back again, attempt number two at the Jazz Wears Fall exclusive horse shit, in a sense, because, you know, I, I, I just have really, really good chance, yeah, really good chance, really good feeling that I'm gonna, you know, just get fucking duped again. Do I really have to explain what I was talking about there a second ago? If you really want me to, go and watch the beginning of the Eddie Kingston review because that'll explain it a little bit better than I can without just getting completely pissed and throwing a bunch of F-bombs out there. So, yeah, let, let's not do that. Attempt number two, Jazzwares, this is your last fucking chance with me. Because, to be honest with you, I, I was completely happy with my Malachi Black that I ordered on, you know, eBay. I didn't necessarily get them through Jazzwares, but I got it in the shipping crate and stuff. So, you know, I got it just how I'm opening this up now. Taking the little plastic fucking square things out. See you later. Goodbye. Then we take out the special box, you know, shouldn't have to see two of these in my room right now, but because of good old jazz wares, them incompetent bastards, I have two Mark Briscoes in one box. So now I have to order another set and hope and pray to the love of country Christmas, pray to the love of baby Jesus that I have two fucking J Briscoes. Yeah, two J Briscoes. There we go. The set is fucking like good. It's beautiful. I don't have to worry about fucking two Mark Briscoes, two J Briscoes. Finally have what I should have had in hand. And if you would like to see the example let me grab the other one real fucking quick for ya. Alrighty, you guys. Now that we've got both of them in hand, I think you guys can see the difference. You know, clear as day. This is the first one I ordered. Fucking beautiful men on card Mark Briscoe and Mark Briscoe. And then we've got beautiful men on card J and Mark Briscoe. Just beautiful set now that I ordered two of them had one fuck up and technically this one's a little messed up too that tag title looks like it got a little warped in the package but that's all right because this is now sadly going to be the one we open because worst case scenario I'm, I might just keep this one in the box I don't know I, I, I kind of like the aesthetic of two Mark Briscoes for some reason gives me online 2k vibes or something i'm gonna have mark briscoe debut his evil twin brother briscoe mark or some shit i don't know i'm i'm i don't know what to say i'm just at least happy happy that i finally got the appropriate set so you know what to you jazz wears I'll, I'll give you i'll give you a pat on the back not not plenty full pats i'll give you one good pat because you, you still fucked me over on $65, so fuck you for that, but just so you guys can see, I am freshly opening this shit live on the camera, might as well, you know, I'm gonna be tearing this bitch open anyways, so, oh, duh, there's a little bit more tape that I couldn't see, Durr. If I could get my knife angled up in there. Because I don't really want to fuck up the box either. So I guess I'm not going to do this one on camera. Alrighty you guys. Now that we finally got the both of them out of the plastic prison. You know not the two Mark Briscoes. Not those two. These two. The J and Mark Briscoe. You know two completely separate characters. Not, not these two over here. These two. Sorry, I'm going to keep making references to that because that does still kind of piss me off a little bit. Either way, everything's posing up pretty well. We'll get into articulation later. Of course, getting into the accessories first. Both men come with Dem Boys Top 5 DOA jackets. Really nice jackets, I'll say that. 
I'm honestly shocked that I didn't really see any stains left from the jackets on the figures, so that's kind of making me wonder if, you know, both figures are good, and maybe if I did open up that extra set, having the extra set of jackets wouldn't really hurt as well. Never know, never know. But what I do know is I do just love the way the jacket does feel. Especially having the little pocket with the like upper part being a little foldable. That's actually kind of neat. Nice little detail there on the jacket, I guess you could say. Of course, both men come with two sets of interchangeable hands. Out of the box, they both come with the set of weapon holding and or grappling hands I guess I don't know when it comes to AEW exactly because they have microphone holding hands that barely hold half the microphones they've ever made so that's always kind of a fun little detail to think about but of course for the Jay Briscoe if I can get it to freaking focus we've got a set of fist hands got all the nice little detail there on the hands sadly the detail does not carry up onto the wrist tape though <clears throat> almost kind of choked on my own spit there I'm not gonna front of course the Mark Briscoe comes with a set of fist hands as well one set of uh, one set of the hands is like taped up to match up you know the one hand that's taped up on the other side you know at least unlike the Ray Phoenix Supreme they didn't give us random hands for these two so that's always a nice touch on top of it, before I end up choking on my own spit again, we've got the nice, I want to say new introduction of the ROH Tag Team Championships, which is always going to be a nice touch in my opinion, to see new belts in the wave, let alone see belts from wrestling companies I never thought I'd see action figure belts for, ROH definitely being one of them. So that's of course a nice touch and you don't have to go out of your way to grab two of them though. I am kind of curious as to why one is like stiff as shit and then the other one is like soft and pliable. That That's just weird to me but it's whatever. Of course they do also come with the dog collars from the dog collar match that they had with FTR you get two sets of them technically now own five sets of them because I had the one from the dog collar match with CM Punk and MJF's like blood and guts two pack that they had there review up on the channel if you're really that curious had to show them off being on the shelf but yeah with that being said, why don't we get into the figures themselves, kind of break down a little bit of this articulation, because realistically, when it comes to like the arms and the head, it moves fairly well, you know, can't complain too much there, the bicep swivels there, the double jointed arms there, if I could get it to pose it with the one hand, definitely not liking the paint rub there exposing the skin underneath, so that's a little awkward. But yeah, you get the wrist articulation and bend there. Now, one part of my articulation problem is, though the boots do kick forward pretty decent, you've got to, like, maneuver them into place to make it look good. Like, it will just naturally shoot off to the side if you're trying to, like, kick the leg up. Not the biggest ordeal, though. You've got the double bend in the knee, which doesn't fully articulate that well because of how baggy the pants are. Uh, yeah, pants are, though they are accurate. And the boots pose pretty damn well. I can't really complain about the boots. Of course, you also got the boot cut and stuff, so... Yeah, unlike previous Jazz Wars figures, at least they gave us that and... Can't complain too much there, though the ab crunch is probably where I'd complain a little bit. Because that shit is stiff as hell, and I can only imagine his brother is going to be the same way when we get into the articulation for that. 
So, yeah, I, I will be getting up into that here in a second. But to take a nice little gander at the Mark Briscoe here, I do love the details in the beard with the gray, the brown. You've got the headband up on top of his full head there, covering that bald ass head a little bit. You've got the armband on his one arm. You've got the wrist tape on the other, which, you know, you can kind of see what I mean here on the Mark Briscoe, that they didn't mold the tape like they did on the hands onto the wrist. So, kind of weird, kind of just whatever. Sorry for taking him off camera for a second there. My nose had been itching for a minute there, and I didn't want to just pause the camera, so, yeah, whatever. Of course, one little detail I do notice here is that they did smudge up the camo here on the one leg. Not complaining too much as I do plan to use this set for like action figure pictures and pick fed purposes so they might end up getting a little scuffed up anyways. Now would I recommend you end up buying a third set of these? Like me if I really wanted to have a set men on card? Probably not. Honestly, I really don't know if I'd recommend you spend that much money just to end up possibly getting duped like I did. Now, when it comes down to the Jay Briscoe, because like I was saying earlier, you know, everything moves really well. Can't complain too much about head scan articulation and stuff of that nature. But at the end of the day, I am going to complain a little bit about the ab articulation and the boot articulation, though it's not necessarily bad, like I was saying, he can kick forward pretty well, but you actually gotta, like, articulate the leg to stay in, like, a certain look, as where if you just let the leg naturally kick up, you might be getting a bit more of a side kick. So, you know, I guess keep that in mind, maybe, if you understand what I mean. Like, you gotta turn the leg a little bit, and boom, it actually looks like a standard kick. It doesn't look like he was taking it from the side, but with a straight leg. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I don't, I don't know. I do love the tattoo detail amongst both men, though. Having the little arm wrap, though. I want to say this one's a little botched up here. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but I could have swore the cross went in the center of the flame there. So I guess that's something you can kind of keep in mind. Maybe that's happened to you. Maybe it hasn't. I don't know. And maybe I'll have to look up a picture and see if that's actually accurate or not. I do also love the little color details in some of these tattoos that they do have here. Didn't really show him off too, too much for the Mark Briscoe, but he doesn't have a whole lot of tattoos here, you know what I'm saying? He's got his little rooster there, his little cock on his arm. He's got the Samoan, like, tribal tattoo there on his lower arm. I don't know exactly. I want to say it's tribal, though. You've got the cross with the R.I.P. tattoo on his arm there, and whatever that is on his chest. You know, a lot of nice little tattoo de uh, detail there, though Jay, of course, definitely has a lot more tattoos than his brother Mark did. Doesn't necessarily matter, though, but before we get into the, you know, the final ranking here... Why don't we get them all posed up for a little bit of a conversation at the end, I guess. I, I don't know exactly what I'm trying to say. I haven't fucking slept yet. I worked an eight-hour shift, and I've stayed up all day long. I only have myself to blame, though. So, you know, I'm not blaming nobody out there, because I'm sure someone who's sitting behind me will probably give me dirty looks if she's not already. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm saying it now. Anyway... Well, we'll get into that, shall we? Alrighty, you guys. I'm not gonna try to keep y'all here too long. I've already missed enough of Raw. Kinda wanna check out what's gonna be going on there as far as Raw goes. But yeah, you know, when it comes down to it at the end of the day, when you get the appropriate variation of this 2-pack, 
it can be a pretty damn solid set. Is it really worth all the money that you're paying for it? I'd have to say it kinda is at the end of the day. You are getting two sets of dog collars, two sets of ROH tag championships, which makes sense, you know, you want two of a tag championship. You get extra hands, no extra heads though, and the articulation is a little weird, but it's something I could get used to. At the end of the day, when it comes down to it, what would I have to rate this set on a scale of 1 to 10? Honestly, I'm probably going to give this a good solid 7.5 when you know you get the set properly. Still going to be mad at that Jazz Wears forever and always. But at least they redeem themselves this time with the fact that I, I got the right figure set this time. And it wasn't two of just Mark Briscoe. Though I'm not going to front, I wouldn't have been as mad if I got two of the J Briscoe. So then that way, I'd have two Marks and two Js. But now I've got three Marks and one J. This is a really weird situation that I have going on with my Briscoe brother sets. But what am I going to do about it at the end of the day? Sell this set on eBay for $200 when it's still available on the Jazzwares website right now as we speak? Maybe you don't feel like dealing with this and you end up paying a hundred dollars anyway but at the end of the day I'd say it's still fairly worth the standard set price of at least paying about fifty five if not sixty five dollars depending on how much stuff you plan on buying from their website because sometimes I guess they do a little like free shipping deal if you spend so much money Realistically, I think most websites do that. If you're paying enough money, they'll just ship the shit for free. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know. 7 out of 5. I guess 7 out of 5. 7 out of 10, I think, makes the most sense to me. And on the scale of a Dave Meltzer star rating, you know, the one to Young Buck match, the one to good old 5 stars, what would I have to rate this set? Well, we gave it a good old 7 out of 10, right? Well, I guess what makes sense, in my, at least in my honest opinion, would be a good solid 3.5 out of 5 stars. I'm going to give it the extra point for the star rating. Would give it the extra 7.5, but I think a good solid 7 will do, and the 3.5 suffice. It's almost there to a perfect set. Would love to see more attires and stuff like that. Maybe like a younger set of Briscoes. Maybe we can get some in like just plain black pants. Maybe we can get some in a lot of different other attires. Get some of the like different shirts and stuff that they used to have. You know, just a lot of the different things when it comes to the Briscoes. I would love to see brought into figure form. But at least we're lucky enough to get these two legends in hand in one figure set. A one of 6,000 figure set. And on that note, I guess we're going to get out of here. So if you guys would like to, feel free to leave a like if you would like to. Uh, if you would like to, you know. If you don't want to, womp womp, I guess. But if you did like the video... You know, feel free to go check out some of my other action figure content such as, you know, action figure unboxings. And we also do pick fed content, something I'm hoping to get these two boys a part of as soon as possible. Could be seen as soon as Legends Night. I don't know. I, I'm kind of still thinking about if I want to debut them that quick or if I want to give them like a little build preview into the like show and stuff. But yeah, you know, on that note, I don't really have too much more else to say. Thankfully, we were able to get this review done eventually. Sadly, f fucking like two weeks late and a dollar short. But you know what? We, we technically do retro reviews on here as well. So it's not the biggest ordeal. Nor is it really the biggest loss besides financially because I spent way more money than I should have just to get the appropriate set. 
Now, yes, I could just return this set, but what if they just repackaged this set and sent it to somebody else? I I'd feel bad for even bothering to waste my time. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it, take my L, fuck you Jazzwares for that, but thank you Jazzwares for this. Though the Jay Briscoe arm does kind of seem to be a tad bit misprinted on tattoos, it's kind of just whatever at that rate. Oh yeah, see right there on the fucking package. I was right, the cross sits in the middle of the flames. I I'm not fucking stupid. They're fucking stupid. Anyway, on that note... We're going to be signing off here, so if you guys would like to, you know, if I can't say that enough times, you know, if I had a dollar for every time I said, if you guys would like to, I'd probably at least have a good couple hundred dollars by now. But anyway, you know, if you guys would like to, feel free to do all that. Feel free to subscribe and add to that already, you know, increasing number from two yeah, 250 to 300 subscribers. Sorry I can't fucking speak tonight, but oh well. If you guys would like to do that, that'd be a big help. If you guys would also like to, feel free go, uh, feel free to go follow me on Instagram as well. Sorry, I'm just kind of trying to rush this outro a little bit. I can't front. I want to watch Raw. But yeah, on that note... Have a good rest of your day, night, evening, morning, whatever the case may be. I don't know. I just know it is past 8. Oh, well, not past 8.30. It is almost 8.30 at night. Raw is going. I keep hearing snap notifications behind me. That's kind of bugging the shit out of me because it's making me lose focus. But I don't even fucking know. That might be my phone, my other phone. In all reality, if you watch the PickFed stuff, you'd know that I technically have two phones anyway. On that note, we're out of here. So, deuces, ooses. You guys thought I forgot, didn't you?